the number of water and batteries around Tobago, given its size, is kind of astounding. However, not so astounding when you think of our, our past and how many colonial powers were fighting over Lady Tobago. Take Fort Granby, for instance. Now, Fort Granby was the first British fortification, and it was built to protect Georgetown, which was the first British town or settlement in Tobago. The settlement was called Georgetown and is made up of what is presently Studley Park and Mount St. George. The fort was likely built in about 1764, 65 thereabouts. But how did Fort Granby get its name? This is Queen Anne and she was most famous for uniting England and Scotland in 1707 and bringing the War of the Spanish Succession to a conclusion. She assumed the throne in 1702 and 319 years ago today, she created the titles of Duke of Rutland and Marquise or Marquess of Granby. Duke of Rutland is a peerage in England named after the area of Rutland. Peerages are a legal system comprising mostly of noble ranks and hereditary titles. This is the coat of arms of the Dukedom of Rutland, which Queen Anne bestowed on March 29, 1703. The Dukedom comes with a host of subsidiary titles such as the Earl of Rutland, Lord Manners of Haddon, Baron Manners. But of course, the one that we are most interested in is the Marquess of Granby. Now, this is John Manners. He was the ninth Earl of Rutland, but he was the first Duke of Rutland. This is the second Duke of Rutland, his son. This is the third Duke of Rutland in all of his splendor. Then we get to the fourth Duke of Rutland, after whom Fort Granby was specifically named after. Now, the fourth Duke of Rutland, the Marquess of Granby, was a career military man and he was somewhat of a war hero, a, a popular one at that, after the Seven Years' War. He was even named a commander-in-chief of the British Army and remained a member of the British Parliament until his death in 1770. Many places around England are named after him, like pubs and, of course, the fort in Tobago. This is the walkway heading up to Fort Granby. There's a lovely gazebo and seating up there. It's really a nice place for an afternoon picnic. There's also a black marble tombstone with the inscription, Beneath this stone lies interred the body of Mr. James Clark, who departed this life the 6th July 1772, aged 30 years. Now, I have real questions about this tombstone, eh? The capital moved from Georgetown, where this uh, marble stab is, right, Fort Granby, to Scarborough in 1769. So why he getting buried there in 1772? Did his family own the property? And who 